Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I'm doing something that a lot of people have asked for, uh, going over a better route planner and using it with an OBD dongle. Let's get into it. So if you've watched any of my videos, I'm sure you've seen that I've used a better route planner. I do really enjoy it. It has some quirks here and there, but overall it works pretty well. Now, a lot of people have asked me about a better route planner and which OBD2 uh, dongle I use and whatnot. So I thought, well, I'll make a video, show everybody kind of what I do and my thoughts about it and um, why you should, in my opinion, uh, use a better route planner. So first things first, uh, what's really cool about a better route planner is it does work with CarPlay. Um, I'm not sure if it works with Android Auto, but I do know it works with CarPlay. So here it is, a better route planner, and here is the map. The map's not too bad. I do believe they borrow from Apple Maps. Um, so you can in here search. There's your setting options. You can adjust the map, stuff like that. Uh, you can also toggle between your vehicles. Uh, but anyways, this is just kind of what it is. So what I thought would be fun and kind of show everybody um, kind of the purpose of a better route planner, at least for me, is <clears throat> to do a little test. So I'm at Home Depot right now. I'm going to Costco and I'm going to use a better route planner while I go to Costco and see uh, if a better route planner with the OBD dongle is more accurate than without the OBD dongle. Um, I'm gonna drive like a normal person, follow all the, the speeds, uh, speed limits, and then we'll see what happens. For those of you who aren't too sure what an OBD dongle is, this is it. It looks like this, and it plugs in underneath of the driver's side um, steering wheel. Here's what it usually looks like. Basically, all you do is you take the OBD dongle, you plug it in just like that, and then once the blue light is lit, it'll be working. Then what you do is you go, you select vehicle, live data, and it'll give you the option to link a better route planner, OBD. You go in there, you'll find VP, click that, and then it should connect. This uh, error message is about to pop up. There it is, uh, pops up, just click proceed and it should work. It makes you click save in the bottom right hand corner. And then you'll see that it is connected and ready to go and ready to use. Something else that is cool to know, if you click under plan settings where you see your vehicle, you can click on edit settings and it will actually show you all this really cool data if you care about your vehicle. If you don't, don't worry about it, but it just shows all of the information that is relevant uh, and that it uses to calculate things, which is cool. If you're wondering if it's connected and working, you'll see it says connected, the little blue car icon. If you unclick it and click it, it'll show 80%, which shows that it's actually working. All right, everybody, so I've got the app open up on my phone. I've already went ahead and put in the directions to Costco. Down here, uh, you can see this kind of red to green bar. You slide this to adjust what your beginning state of charge is. Right now, I've got 66%, so I'll put that there. I'm actually gonna also, I can't turn it off, it's fine. So I'll put it to 66%. And this is without the OBD. So I just wanna see what it thinks I'm gonna get without the um, OBD. I click here and it's planning. Hopefully you can see on uh, the screen there for Apple CarPlay, it adjusted. Without using the OBD dongle, it is telling me, and it's sorry if it's a little blurry, but there it is, it's telling me that I'm going to use 6% to get there and arrive with a state of charge of 60%. So let's remember that. It also tells me that my average consumption will be 3.74 miles per kilowatt hour. So that's without the OBD dongle. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in the OBD dongle and then see uh, what we get. So I've, I've gone ahead and plugged in the OBD dongle. I'll, I'll show you all kind of uh, how to do that. Uh, in a little cutscene, you'll see. But it actually says I have 65% and my car says 66%. And that's because uh, the ID4, there, I've noticed some little BMS issues where it doesn't necessarily communicate to the driver the exact um, state of charge. But it's not that big a not that big a deal. But as you can see in the app here, it says connected, 65%. That's automatic. And there we go. It is set up click this as you can see at the same time and 
20 minute drive and it's still telling me 60% arrival. So what's gonna be interesting is, will I actually arrive with 60%? Now this is why the OBD dongle is really important is because what will happen is this number right here is gonna update as we go based on whether um, I'm more or less efficient while I drive. So we're gonna kinda see how things pan out and um, why you know the OBD dongle is super important. All right, everybody, we are off and we are gonna see how a better route planner helps us out. So right now, uh, basically, if you all didn't have an OBD dongle and you used a better route planner, uh, you would think you're gonna get there with 60% state of charge. We're gonna see about that. We are on the way to Costco. Uh, again, not a super long trip, uh, but there was a minor change. It's just showing I'm gonna arrive with 59%. Now, if I had uh, just been relying upon a better route planner without the OBD dongle, then I would have assumed I'd get there at 60%, but this says I'm gonna get there at 59%. Um, I think this might actually pop back to 60%, we'll see. But um, again, it's just really nice that it will adapt as you drive. Something else that I wanted to mention with the Better Route Planner is, as you use a Better Route Planner, it kind of logs your efficiency um, at different speeds, and then it uses that information to inform future uh, drives and trips you do with a Better Route Planner. So it kind of has like a low speed, a medium speed, and a high speed efficiency. Uh, and again, the more you drive, it will even further adjust that, just so it's the most accurate, which I think is a super cool feature, uh, which allows a better route planner to give you as accurate a possible um, guess to what your state of charge will be so that it can give you an awesome route plan. Now one thing that's obviously not going to happen on this trip um, because it's so short is I'm not going to need to stop the charge. But what will happen with a better route planner is based on your state of charge it will tell you whether you need to go to a charger or not. And say you're on a trip and it thinks you're gonna get there with like um, five percent so it really thinks you need to charge uh, and as you go maybe you get a it, it, it's like oh no I think you're actually gonna have way more state of charge it might bump you to a further charger to further make your trip more efficient which is you know a super awesome and better than um, a lot of route planners especially the built-in route planner with the ID4, which I don't believe does that. I think it's just like, that's where you're going. Um, I am doing a little trip actually this week um, to Chicago and I'm going to uh, exclusively use um, the built-in navigation on the way there. And then on the way back, I'm gonna use a better route planner. I'm gonna see which one was more accurate and got me uh, to where I want it to be as quick and efficient as possible. All right, everybody, we arrived at Costco and look, it adjusted again to 61%. Um, and here on the car, you can see it actually does say 61% as well. So uh, if I hadn't used the OBD dongle, we would have been here at 60%, but we actually arrived with one more percent than stated. Usually um, on like a long trip, I'll make up actually a bunch of percentage compared to the initial estimate um, because of the driving always, in my experience, tends to be a little bit more efficient. There's been a couple times where it's been less efficient, but um, very rarely. Because when you pay for the subscription for a better route planner, it actually includes traffic and uh, weather and wind uh, conditions uh, in in conjunction with the um, elevation and all the other and the speeds that are already included so it just gives you a really really accurate picture for the most part um, and kind of helps you have as efficient of a trip as possible which I absolutely love all right everybody so here is the OBD dongle that I use it is the V peak hopefully y'all can see that but it's the V peak OBD2 scan tool i believe i believe this is the ble there's also a ble plus uh, if you want to get that um 
sorry, OBD Check. There it is, OBD Check BLE. And there's an OBD Check BLE Plus if you wanna spend a little bit more money. Um, this is a, a little finicky here and there, but it works great, uh, so maybe it's worth going for the Plus. Uh, there are a bunch of way better OBD scanner tools you can get, um, but these are like, like 30, 40 bucks, and they work perfectly fine if you're just using it for a better route planner. Um, I don't, I, I don't really think it's worth spending more money uh, for a better OBD scanner tool for this. Um, if you want it for other reasons, then absolutely, you know, pay more money, get a better tool. Uh, but this has worked really great for me, and I've had no issues with it. Um, I'll leave a link down below for the VPeak um, OBD Check BLE and uh, BLE2 if you're interested in getting that, uh, but I would highly recommend. It's totally worth paying the four or five bucks a month and having the OBD scanner so you can have as accurate uh, trip information as you want, uh, especially if you want to road trip your EV, which I think is super fun. So that is it with the A Better Route Planner and the OBD uh, scanner tool. Uh, wanted to kind of show everybody uh, why I like to use it and that it actually does make a difference. This, in this case, it was a 1% difference, uh, but most of the time when I'm on a road trip, I can see a four to 5% uh, difference um, when it comes to state of charge when I actually arrive. So I do appreciate the accuracy that is provided using a better route planner and the OBD2 dongle in conjunction. So. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. What other things uh, do you want to hear about with the ID4, with a better route planner, with the OBD dongle two, uh, two <laughs> tool <laughs> combined, uh, or any other EVs. Um, again, uh, some EVs have awesome route planning and you probably don't need to use a better route planner, uh, like Tesla and Rivian, uh, but some like the ID4, Hyundai Kona, other vehicles like that, the route planning is not that great, so I would recommend to use a better route planner. So leave those comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Leave a like, a subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you all next time.